All right, tubers, Madam Roy back once again. Back to you with an awesome, super, mega, awesome, whatever you want to call this garage sale find video. This is a collaboration of three days worth of garage sales, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. i got a lot to talk about here, so without further ado, let's get started. Now, somebody in the live stream the other day commented on one thing I was going to show, and he was absolutely right. One of the best scores that I made this weekend at a local garage sale are these three Micron solid state hard drives. And they are all the same. They are Micron model, they're real SSD C400s. They're all 128 gigabyte, uh, say to six gigabit per second um, throughput drives. I got these for, believe it or not, $10 a piece. They're a little on the older side. They're from 2012, but the gentleman assured me that they're all in good working order. They've been formatted, and they're ready to go. So one of these is definitely going in the, uh, in the Lenovo ThinkStation for sure. Next, we'll come up here. I actually wound up getting, this. most of this is from that same guy, I wound up getting three Game Boy systems. Got a Game Boy Advance SP, which I believe has the later screen on it, but I'm not 100% sure. You guys will have to tell me that. Unfortunately, he did not have the charger for it, so I'll have to wait till I get home. I have plenty of those chargers. Got a Game Boy Pocket which does work. It's got batteries in it. Good, good solid screen on there with only like a couple of light scratches. Game Boy Color, um, which I have not tested yet, just have not had a chance. This is obviously the Pokemon edition. You can see that it's also in decent shape. Uh, model CGB001. And a few games here. You can see the game in there. That was Wario Land 2. Also got Final Fantasy 1 and 2, Pokemon Ruby version for these two, of course, are um, for the Advance. And then I have an original Zelda DX and then a Pokemon Gold. Very cool to find those games. Next, just got a little Norelco shaver. I picked this up in Smithville Flats. Does work just fine. little extra shaver. Got that for uh, 50 cents. Paid 50 cents for that. Next, picked up another Keurig here. You can see got that for $5. Um, decent Keurig. It makes one cup at a time or brews one mug at a time. I really like the way this works. To open it, you push this, and it does it in the right order. You put your K-cup in, and only when you shut that does it pop the reservoir open for water. Now, I actually had to clean this out because this is from the town of Green, which suffers from hard water. This had tons of lime scale buildup. So I went ahead and I took a um, Clorox wipe, scrubbed in there, and then ran vinegar through it. And as you can see, it is perfectly clean now. I got that and the little uh, K-cup holder there for the $5. So again, great, great deal there. Next, got a bunch of video cards. Again, this is all from the same, pretty much all this stuff with the exception of the razors from the same seller. This is an MSI. This is a GeForce 210 card. Again, nothing high end, but it does have HDMI. This one is, I have no idea what this one is. Let me see. This is a GeForce GT545. 1.5 gigabyte card. Wow, this is a nice one. This one may actually be going in the Think Station if it works. Also picked up two sticks of RAM. These are 8 gigabytes each, PC3, 12800. These will be going in some customer systems for sure. Don't remember what I paid for those, to be honest with you. Got a few more mice here. This is a Logitech M525 mouse. Um, this is one of those Dell um, really fancy ones that come with the Alienware uh, computers. These are laser mice, actually. These are really nice. Um, I have a few of those at home. You can actually push this button and adjust the DPI and the tracking on that one. And one of my favorite mice of all times, the Microsoft Mobile Mouse 4000. Unfortunately, it's a pink one, but eh, you know what? I might use that anyway. Next, got this big GeForce um, card. It's really dirty, and I have absolutely no idea what this card is. I could tell you that it's a GeForce, missing the E there. Apparently, the E fell off, so it's a GeForce. 
has dual DVI and a um, what appears to be an S video out, but again, no idea exactly what that card is. Next, pick this up for a buck, a TI-89 titanium calculator, which does work. I put batteries in it, works flawlessly. Um, not too much to say about this. I really don't know a lot about the Texas Instruments calculators, only that this, ca this calculator sells for around $60 to $80 on eBay. So that might be an item to put on eBay couple small things here, nothing too major, Dell keyboard, and then this goes with a cell phone that I'm charging in the other room that I wound up picking up, got that for a dollar. Now we'll move over here, got a few different things here, got an old school bicycle um, game, these are base bicycle card games for good old Microsoft Windows, and believe it's compatible with DOS, let's see, Windows 3.1 or later, no, this is the Windows only version, so that'll be nice to play on my um, Dell XPS D233, got the Secret Life of Pets, brand new, Blu-ray, got that for a buck, um, the Blu-ray DVD and the digital HD copy on that one. Uh, Schindler's List, got that for a dollar. Beauty and the Beast Special Edition, got that for a dollar. That includes the DVD and the Blu-ray there. And a few Xbox games. We have the original Spider-Man game, Dead Man's Hand, Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Rings, one of my personal favorites, Tie 2, The Trash Man Tiger, The Bush Rescue. I like the first one too, but the second one um, I thought was done a little bit better. Tony Hawk's Underground, and then just a random Zelda Wii game. This is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Um, got some of this card stock here for 50 cents. Um, it's actually lying card stock. Really, really good quality stuff. And before you guys ask, yes, I did wind up picking up a Xbox. Now, I got the Xbox with the four controllers. Um, I don't believe they're original ones. It has one original Xbox controller... And it looks like three Mad Cats controllers, but they do all have the breakaway ends, so they will all plug right into the Xbox. Um, yeah, these three are Mad Cats. But it's got all the cables in there. It's got the power cable, the um, composite video audio cables. I got that and all the Xbox games you see here for $20. Great deal there. I mean, I cannot find that kind of deal anywhere where we are. Moving over here, got a few more things to show you. For $5, again, from the same seller that I got all the other components from, picked this uh, motherboard up. This is just a DDR2 motherboard. I don't know exactly what make it is. Let's see if it says it on there. It's got an NVIDIA chipset. Um, other than that, I don't know. Oh, it's an EVGA board. DDR2 with 8 gigs of RAM in there. Uh, got the I.O. shield with it. And it's got a Core 2 Duo. Let's see if it'll focus on there. I don't think it will. Come on. Core 2 Duo. And it is uh, E4500. So, again, not a bad deal for um, for the $5 I paid for it. Next, I'm not going to take this out, guys. It's too hard to get back in. But for 20 bucks. I got this Asus MB168 USB monitor. Basically what this is, this is a external monitor that allows you to hook it up to a, something like a laptop or even a desktop via the USB port. This right, that's right. This actually uses USB 3.0. So this will let me do uh, dual monitors with my actual um laptop if I want to. Again, great deal on that. Brand new, these sell for about $100. The guy said that he used it once or twice, and he sold it to me for $20. And it comes with two cases. There are actually two cases in there. Um, again, I'm not going to try to pull it out. It's just way too hard to get to right now. We're almost done, guys. One thing I forgot to show you over here. For $5, I got a Jeep brand um, suitcase, because mine is actually going bad. And this is the right size, Jeep. American design established 1941 for five bucks. This thing is like brand new. I don't think it's ever been used. All right, tubers, we're going to go into the kitchen because I have a couple more things to show you. So follow me in here. Okay, next we have this Metro PCS phone. Now, I did actually get two of these. I paid a dollar a piece, but unfortunately, when I got back home, I realized that one of them had a crack in it, so I scrapped that one and I saved the battery. 
I haven't even tried to power them on yet. Let's see if they'll turn on at least. The batteries were stone dead. Sorry about oh, the tubers. I go. reached the maximum recording length, so I had to start a new session. But yeah, as you can see, the uh, Android phone works just fine. Apparently, it's still trying to boot up. But again, for a dollar, it's a some type of ZTE with a 4G um, capability on there. Camera in the back, camera in the front. And yeah, seems to work just fine. Let's see if we can unlock it one-handed. There you go. So I have to kind of look into that, see what I want to do with that. But again, for a buck, I definitely can't resist. All right, tubers. Well, that is it for the garage sale finds. Wow. What a score we had this week. I could not believe it. I do have one other item that I'm not going to show you guys right now. We're going to have to save that for later because it's going to be the subject of another project video. Hope you guys really enjoyed this garage sale find. Please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.